I am Dr. W. P. Dunwari from Kamla Nidhi Mahavidhya Dinapur. Today we are discussing the reaction mechanism of transition metal complexes and already we have discussed what is the trans effect, what is the outer sphere reactions and the inner sphere mechanism of the reactions. We have also taken some examples and also we have discussed the two electron transfer reaction. In this complementary and non-complementary electron transfer reaction we have discussed and now in today's part we are discussing the cross reaction which is given also known as the or which is given by the uh, uh, Marcus and Hirsch. So Marcus Hirsch theory we are discussing in today's part. Marcus has given the important concept about the uh, cross reactions and this, we are, uh, this part we are discussing in today's. So today's topic is the reaction mechanism of transition metal complexes and in this part number 7 we are discussing the cross reaction and uh, that is Marcus Hirsch theory. As we know Marcus has given the important relationship and it is used to calculate the rate of reaction. So Marcus has given the relationship which can be used to calculate rate constant. It means a rate of the reaction can be calculated by using that relation for outer sphere mechanism. And in this case, uh, K12 is the equation number 1 is given by Marcus. K12 equals to K11, K22, K12, F12. So here, this equation number 1 given by the Marcus and can be used to know the rate constant of that reaction. This is the applied equation and uh, this uh, uh, equation have K12 and K12 is nothing but the rate constant for the cross reaction and consider now the reaction uh, between two complex here is a uh, Fe complex here is molybdenum complex so Fe Cn6 4 minus Mo Cn8 3 minus so there is a transfer of electron so here this loses electron and this acid electron so here Fe Cn6 3 minus and here is a Fo Cn8 4 minus so these are the two metal complexes in which the transfer of the uh, electron taking place. Now another reaction, consider the self exchange reaction involving the hexacyanoferrate complex. So in case of hexacyanoferrate complex, so see now here metal is same, Fe and this is Fe star in which the self exchange reaction is taking place. So Fe Cn6 4 minus. Fe star Cn6 3 minus. So self action is taking place and now it becomes Fe Cn6 3 minus and this is Fe star Cn6 4 minus. So in this way from Fe to Fe star uh, the uh, charge is transferred. For this reaction the rate constant can be written as K11 equals to 7.4 into 10 to the power 2 per meter per second. So this is the rate of the reaction for this self exchange reaction. Some more reactions are given here and uh, consider now, uh, if you consider another self exchange reaction which involves the octo octacyanomolybdenum complex. So again now here molybdenum cn 84 minus again molybdenum star cn 84 minus again thus this is the self exchange reaction and in this case now MOCN8 having minus 1 charge and this is having minus 4 charge. Ligands are same, metals are same. We, two metals are shown, MO and MO star. So to identify. So for this uh, self action reaction, uh, for this reaction, rate constant, for this reaction, rate constant K22 is 3 into 10 to the power 4 per meter per second. And uh, yeah, it is the equilibrium constant for the overall reaction. So uh, combining of these two, so Fe Cn6 4 minus. MOCN8 3 minus and uh, we obtain FeCN6 3 minus and MOCN6 4 minus and K12 the constant equals to 1 into 10 to the power 2. So this is the overall reaction of the above two reaction and uh, the, uh, the, uh, the overall reaction rate is uh, K12 equals to 1 into 10 to the power 2. So K12 means reaction 1 and 2. So in this way in case of uh, reaction this one so this is the first reaction therefore it is written as K11 and another reaction is a K22 second reaction so 22 is given 
and now uh, over the reaction from the 1 into we obtain k1 to equal to 1 into 10 to the power 2. So this is the cross reaction and here log f12 equals to this is the formula given log k12 square 4 log k11 k22 to the power upon z square. So this equation in this equation z is the collision frequency of two unchanged particles in the solution. The F12 is a correction factor for the differences in free energy of the two reactant and is generally 1. And in this case of reaction, a T1, a F12 is a 0.85. It's the value of F12 generally 1. And for this reaction, F12 is a 0.85. Now uh, when all the appropriate values are substituted in the equation 1 that we have seen first equation when all the values are substituted in the equation 1 then k12 come out to be 4 into 10 to the power 4 per meter per second which compare quite well as compared to the experimental value 3 into 10 to the power 4. So observed value is 4 into 10 to the power 4 into uh, meter per meter per second and the experimental value is 3 into 10 to the power 4 per meter per second. So it is uh, quite comparable. Therefore calculated K12 value using Marcus equation is uh, far away from the experimental value then mechanism is not outer sphere. If the difference is more then that is a uh, as uh, the observed value is much more diff uh, having a difference between observed and experimental value then according to Marcus equation the mechanism is not outer sphere. So Marcus equation 1 correlate the thermodynamic and kinetics aspect because K12 depends on on the uh, relation and the uh, properties as K12 increases the rate of reaction also increases. So K12 depends upon the uh, rate of the reaction. So rate of reaction increases with the increase of K12 value. And in this way, outer sphere reactions are thermodynamic, uh, thermodynamically more favorable and take place faster as compared to other reactions. The, uh, the first of this, uh, for, uh, the faster reaction occur which can be depends on the driving force that is the free energy change delta G and therefore equation 1 is simplified Marcus equation this equation breaks down that is not applicable when K12 becomes large so K12 should be small and it should not be a large the complete theory Marcus's theory shows that the rate of the reaction increases rapidly with increasing the spontaneity of the reaction when change in free energy is equal to the sum of the when the change in free energy is equal to sum of reorganization of energy and then decreases as the driving force increases further so if the driving force increases further then there is a decrease of the energy is taking place. So uh, this is about the Marcus theory. So equation 1 is a simplified Marcus equation and uh, if K12 becomes large then it shows that rate increases with the increasing spontaneity of the reaction. So uh, as the change in free energy is equal to the sum of reorganization energy and then it decreases the driving force and increases further driving force increases so uh, our energy decreases as the driving force increases so this is given by uh, uh, Marcus and uh, the important relation he has given and on the basis of that equation the rate of the reaction can be known so whether the rate of reaction is slow or whether the rate of reaction is fast it depends upon the factors which are given and uh, Marcus has given 
the different types of reaction and uh, important is the cross reaction. So in today's part, what is the cross reaction? What is the simple reactions? Self exchange reaction and after adding we get the oral reaction. What is the rate of the individual reaction and oral reaction? That is the cross reaction also we have seen and which is explained by the Marcus and Huss in his theory. Therefore it is known as Marcus Huss theory of uh, these uh, uh, complexes. So different types of complexes undergo the uh, reaction and forming uh, simple, simple complexes can combine and also undergo the self exchange reaction and after that they undergo the cross reaction. So this is the important part from the examination point of view. So today we stop here. We will continue in the next part.